So I grew up in a very multicultural home. Um, I listened to everyone from Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey to Bob Marley. So I kind of had the best of both worlds growing up. Okay. Um, I'm from the Bronx. Um, I was born and raised. I went to high school in Harlem. And I met Sherry. That's where I met Sherry. Um, I live with my mother, my grandmother, and it's just us three. I have an older sister. She's 10 years older than me. I have a nephew, and um, I love him. I love my family. So, tell us about how did it get started? Um, Cake and Wings actually started from a phone conversation Katrina and I had back in 12th grade, 12th grade, senior mm -hmm. year. Uh, there was a business plan competition that came about at our school and um, Katrina really wanted to enter and I was kind of against it. I didn't feel like... Because we, we had senioritis and yeah. we didn't want to do any type of work, but I just felt like we should just enter just to see, you know, what comes out of it. Yeah, and we love food, always love food. We would bring, you know, food to school, have our little feasts and stuff. And I would always bring wings and she would always bring cake. And she said, you know, you make really good wings and I make really good cake. Why don't we just put it together and we'll call it cake and wings. And Sherry brushed it off. I'm like, no, I don't feel like She's like, what that. is no. that? Yeah. <laughs> And um, and that was just kind of the end of it until the next day. I said, "Alright, Trina, let's do it. Let's do cake." And, and I was like, "What? Now we gotta do work, really?" Yeah. <laughs> and um, and then we just came up with the concept, came up with the do-it-yourself frosting and the cake tot idea. We had a lot of people and, in our class help us develop the idea yeah. of the cake tot and putting your own frosting on it. Yeah. And you know the sweet and the savory idea. You know that kind of came about. Just accident like yeah. it wasn't it's not something we planned it just kind of just happened so yeah. we never knew that it would go so well together but it actually is really really delicious and um, we entered the competition and we won along with a few other um, uh, businesses businesses and um, we got $200 seed money and we were able to start our business and we sold our cake and wings in the mini mall, our little mini mall that we had. We made and a lot of money. Yeah, we made a lot of money. We were able to pay for prom and senior, senior trips, trips and senior rings and all of that stuff. And um, once we graduated, we just kind of kept it with us. Yeah. But we, we went to separate colleges. So, um, you know, Sherry studied business, I studied theater. So we kind of just went off into our own world and then we kind of came back later on together yeah. and, and restarted the whole idea of Cake and Wings. We kept Cake and Wings with us throughout college yeah, years. Yeah, we so. always talked about it, never forgot about it. And then when the recession hit, we both lost our jobs. I was working in public relations and she was working at- An airline Alice company. Alice Airlines. Mm -hmm. And the recession hit, she lost her job and then I lost mine. And then it was election time. Yeah and Barack Obama was about to become our president. So we were extremely hopeful. Yeah. We said, you know what? We're about to have a black right. president. Right, why can't we start our why own business? Why can't we start our own business? I mean, come on, it's possible. So we we just started from there. I started writing the business plan, contacting people. We um, filled out all the business paperwork. And we ended up returning to our old high school, speaking with our old principal, mm -hmm. and he gave us a shot to allow us to sell cake and wings to the kids at the school. And they loved it. Like, it was yeah. the same thing, except it wasn't our generation of kids. It, it was, was a the new kids generation. Eight years later. Right, yeah. and they loved it. And that just kept us motivated. Like, yeah, that's when we really knew we had something. Right. And then we just turned it into a full catering company. Well, I'm not going to say that we were hoping. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. know why we didn't think to do we're that. We're sorry about that. I mean, kind of. <laughs> but, but, but having said all that, what, what would you tell a 13, 14-year-old girl with aspirations to start her own business? What would your advice be? I would say... First, do a little research. Make sure you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. Um, and 
once you're really, really motivated and you know that this is what you want to do, then just do it. Just start it. Otherwise, you're going to, how can I say this? You're always going to be planning. You're always going to be thinking, wondering, okay, how can I do this? How can I do that? Once you just start, everything just kind of falls into place. And you just find yourself three years later, you have a, you have a company. So right. just getting it started is really, really key and, and doing some research. I would say start and finish because that's, that's the problem that a lot of people have is that they start things and they never finish and then that's how they fail and they, know, they never see it through. So I would say definitely just continue, don't stop, don't let anyone influence you that's gonna be negative and just do what you love to do and don't quit. Yeah, never quit. Ever. That's that's when you fail, is when you quit. Right. Who are your biggest influences growing up? I would say my mother um, and my sister. Uh, my sister's 10 years older than me, and I always saw her working, going to school. Uh, she didn't have kids all over the place. She didn't have baby daddies or anything crazy. Like, she was just a positive role model. My mother, she, she had my sister young at 16, so... I saw her, you know, going to work, making sure my sister went to school, making sure my sister finished high school and college, and still taking care of her kids. So I definitely, you know, my mother and my sister was definitely my, my influences. I love them. I would say the same <laughs> thing. I grew up in a family where um, the women were kind of the strongest ones. They had the best jobs and kind of did the best out of everyone in the family. And so I had them to look up to. Um, education was very, very important to them. So they kind of steered me in the right direction with that. And I think without that kind of guidance, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have gotten to where I am now. And also, I would say we influenced each other a lot yeah. growing up. Mm -hmm. I mean, we. We had a large group of friends. It was like eight of us. And they and were all smart. We, yeah, we were all smart. And mm -hmm. we didn't want to be losers. We didn't want to, we didn't want to be failures, you know? You know, it was one point in time where I was like, I don't know if I really want to go to college. But all of my friends was like, I'm going to college. I was like, <laughs> well, shoot, y'all ain't leaving me. <laughs> so I definitely went because my friends were going to college. Yeah. It was just the thing to do. It was the thing, it was the thing to do. Yeah. You, you graduate from high school and you go to college. And we definitely pushed each other. We influenced each other. We helped each other out. Mm -hmm. And my friends definitely influenced me. I couldn't have gotten through high school, those tough years, without my friends. We, we know.